So here's another simultaneous equation. And so what we need to do is step one, get, how did I say get and then I write x? That's interesting. Get x or y alone. That's all you need to do first. Oh, and let's call this equation one and equation two. If we look at equation two, we actually have y alone already. So, yeah, we already have y alone. So all we're going to do now is we're going to plug number two into number one. So remember, step one, get x or y alone. We've done that. It's already done for us. Now what you do is you put that into the other equation. So let me quickly write the other equation down for us over here. Now you see where this y is? you're going to be able to replace that now with x squared minus 15. Okay, because it says that it says here that y is equal to x squared minus 15. So we're going to replace it. So what this will now look like is 2x minus, then in brackets, you're going to say x squared minus 15 equals 7. And now it's just a case of solving. So I'm going to bring everything to the right hand side. And so that's going to give us x squared minus 2x. And then plus 7 minus 15 is negative 8. Now this can solve or factorize nicely as x minus 4 and x plus 2. And so therefore x is 4 or x is negative 2. But now that's not the final answer because the point of a simultaneous is to get x and y. So we can say here if x equals 4. If x equals 4, let me do that in a different color. Then what we can do is we use this equation over here. Then it tells us that y should be equal to 4 squared minus 15. See, I'm just plugging the x answer into here. And so that means y would be 1. Now, in a different color, if x equals to negative 2, then you plug it into the same equation. Then y would be negative 2 squared minus 15. And so that would be negative 11. And so our final answers for this entire question are going to be the following. So when x was 4, y was 1. When x was minus 2, y was negative 11.